Miles, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, so 2011 was a great year for Ogilvy um, in terms of new business wins. $1.5 billion worth um, from clients like The Gap and Philips. To what do you attribute the wins? I think uh, you know, it's always difficult for one to answer. Uh, but I, I, I think I attribute it to the work. And so um, we're demonstrating, I think, that we work in two ways with clients. First of all, we're committed to effectiveness, so we really want to have work that works. And secondly, we're committing, committed to doing work that feels like great creative work. So if you combine those two and you answer the client's brief, in my view, it's not difficult to win new business <laughs> pictures. So we somehow got the recipe right. It's not like cracking the code or... No, uh, but no th you have to crack the cultural code mm. of the client, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. And in the cases that we won, uh, I believe we had a very, very good chemistry. Mm. That's not always the case. And in my view, most pictures are actually lost because of chemistry reasons. Mm -hmm. Can you articulate trends you're seeing um, as far as what makes for successful advertising and branding these days, that which translates to growth and profits? You know, it's the same that it always was, which is having a great creative idea. Mm -hmm. And so creativity is what differentiates products, brands, companies, even people, how we dress, how we behave, and so on. Behind that, there's something more, however, and that is really about how big the creative idea is. Mm -hmm. So I think we're seeing um, the, the, the wheat being sorted from the chaff mm -hmm. in terms of companies' ability to grasp that ideas is one thing, but an ideal is something else. If mm. you put an L into that word, then it becomes something bigger, higher level, mm -hmm. and more purposive, and more about a point of view about life or the world or culture or whatever. So our success has been with big ideals. Um, it's a phrase which is starting to enter the public parlance. Um, and you know, on a client like IBM, um, Smarter Planet is a big ideal. It's not an advertising idea. Right. So the vast majority of the work which we do there is actually digital. It's it's beyond advertising. It's demand generation. It's 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 a whole welter of different communication things, which is really about content creation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that uh, the the trend that we're seeing is to some extent enabled by the digital revolution, yes. which is we're moving from simple messages, which we used to create and then fling out into the, into the world and hope people would be hit by them, mm -hmm. to whole complicated systems of content, which we've got to give people a reason to visit. So we're becoming almost editors of the internet, sure. publishers and editors. Uh, and in that way, you have to have something which glues it all together. Mm -hmm. And that thing which glues it all together is some creative idea which expresses in our language, a big ideal. Mm. Now that, you know, it's we've come out of 2011 now, we're moving into 2012. Um, what do you anticipate as far as marketing budgets? Will we see them, um, you know, there's been a lot reported that marketing budgets are down and that um, as, you know, marketers um, tighten the reins, further tighten the reins, that obviously has an impact on agencies, particularly staffing levels, for example. What do you anticipate moving into this year? Well, I'm a mild optimist, actually. <laughs> so, so actually, the resilience of the U.S. market for us has, in a sense, been slightly surprising to me. Now, of course, we've got to adjust. We have some mix issues also, because associated with uh, your question really is the, the subsidiary question, which is which sectors are growing and which Absolutely. aren't growing. So digital is growing very, very fast, and mm -hmm. some other sectors aren't growing very fast. So you have to adjust to cope with that mix. Mm -hmm. But on the whole, um, actually, my feeling is that the clients are pretty, pretty constant in their marketing expenditures at the moment. So we're not seeing any significant delays or retrenchments or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So there's obviously caution and uh, some sense of concern. There's a consensus to ensure that solutions are cost effective. That's relatively normal. But nothing really, really uh, worrying or significant at this stage. And we're already you know, getting well into the first quarter. Globally, um, uh, I think the picture is, 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 is mixed. I mean, Southern Europe is not, not, not good, but Northern Europe, Germany, Ukraine, Poland, Russia, all very strong, uh, certainly for us. China very strong, Asia strong, uh, and Latin America still strong. So we're looking at a fairly healthy uh, budget, at any rate, for next year. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing which tells me at the moment that that's unrealistic or stupid. Let's talk about China. Define the opportunity that exists in China right now for advertising and for agencies. We have to get rid of this mindset somehow that um, uh, Western agencies are there to bring something from the outside mm -hmm. into China. 
Uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. Mm -hmm. If anything, um, China's become so sophisticated in digital terms that we can learn from China. I mean, Absolutely. e-commerce, for instance, is significantly more sophisticated in China. So what's the here. challenge then? The, 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 the challenge is a talent challenge. You know, you asked me about talent earlier. Mm -hmm. um, this is the single challenge in, in China. Um, so even our managers represent a very, very young generation of people. You know, they may be 10 years in the business or 12 years in the business, no more than that. Mm -hmm. And how do you um, generate um, qualified staff um, when you've got a very, very large payroll? I mean, our staffing numbers in China are in excess now of almost 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. So um, keeping, retaining, um, developing that talent uh, is the major uh, issue that we have. And if we don't do that, then we will fumble. Um, but uh, we spend a lot of money on it. We have a lot of resources put against it. It's mm -hmm. a kind of life or death in China. So, and the battle for talent is intense because the growth is still Absolutely. very, very strong. So we're fighting for talent against all our competitors, um, both our foreign competitors and our domestic competitors. Mm.